So this is an update of my vanity. I'm sorry I haven't been posting videos, um, but I will try to more frequently. But here is my mirror. Um, it's touch. And you can change the settings on it, like the, um, the brightness of it right here. You just hold on and it just dims. And you press it again and then it just goes bright. And then you can change the color of it. So, yeah. And it's by Impressions Vanity. It's not focusing. Oh, it's a by Impressions Vanity. Um, I actually got it at TJ Maxx. If I'm, no, my bad, Marshalls. So, that's where I got this from. I mean, sooner or later, I do want like a big Hollywood mirror, I guess. But for now, this is all I have. And excuse the dirtiness of it, I have to clean it. I have to clean it, so. Um, okay, so let's start on this side. On this side, on this wall, I have my lips. Lipsticks, my favorite lipsticks displayed. Um, I know that one's like out of, I guess you say out of like category because all I have up, oh, and these two too, just because I have all the Juvia's up here. I had only Juvia's up here, but then I like those and then I like the Frosted Flakes. So I don't know where else to put them, and that is like full. So, and, but yeah, these are the lipsticks that I use often, so that's why I have them up here. So, I know some of these are not even open yet, as you can see. They still have the plastic on them. <laughs> and that's just because I had, like, I recently just got them too, so, that's why they're like that. These two are open, though. And then these two are open. Um, but yeah, so... And then on the so the, on the top is like all my lip glosses, and the bottom is like all lipstick, and then I have all the Mac ones right here, and then all the Juvias, and then one Huda Beauty that I got in an Ipsy. Um, but yeah, oh, and these acrylics. If y'all are wondering, my sister gave them to me. Um, she ordered the wrong size, and she was like, "Here, you can have them." I ordered the wrong size, so she gave them to me, and I used, put them to good use. So yeah. Mm, that's what I did and then on the top of it I I have my brushes my eye brushes and then this stitch brush holder with more brushes in it and then my beauty blenders and then my keychain and then I have my setting spray up here actually supposed to be put away I just have it up there for now. And I have my cotton rounds and then my q tips. Yeah. And then this acrylic I got at IKEA. So yeah. Okay, so I have my face brushes down here and then I have my uh face cleaner right here. And then on this side I have well, next to it, I have the rest of my lipsticks. Actually, this isn't the rest. It's just my other favorites that are not on that display. Um, they're right here. Okay, so I have gloss, lip glosses here and lipsticks combined. Um, as you can tell, these are the lip glosses. And then these are the lipsticks. But yeah, that's what I have there. I just have this e.l.f. brush on the side. Um, and then, like I said, my mirror, and then, okay, so, and this wall, like, literally, like, on top of the lipstick, um, I was, I used the same acrylics as I used in those, uh, for the, for the lipsticks and the lip glosses, I used them here. For my palettes, my favorite palettes. Um, so yeah, it goes actually around like that. So 
my uh, I have my Stranger Things, my Norbina, and my Color Pop Amethyst palettes, and then I have my Color Pop, my two Color Pop, um, the two uh, I think the mini Norbinas um, by ABH, and then on this side I have the other Stranger Things, and then my other Norbina, and then one the mini one, the mini Norbina from that collection. Uh, my Huda Beauties, and then my Juvia's Place palette. Um, the ones that I put here, all around, are the ones that I just recently got, or are my favorite, I guess you can say. But yeah, let me just show you, I guess, one of them. Like, oops, I just dig my finger in that. Um, yeah, this is how one is. Oops. Yeah, that's how that one is. If you guys haven't seen Stranger Things, oh my goodness, you guys need to watch it. It is a good, it's a good show. Um, but yeah, so that is it for the top. Um, that's the little overview of it. So, anyways, okay, so now down in this drawer, so let me start over here, actually. So, in this drawer, so I keep all of my face stuff in here, well, what I need, basically like my everyday makeup, so... I know this is a lot for an everyday makeup, but I use different products when I do do my makeup so um so yeah this is all my um foundations I have uh the Maybelline Perfector Formal Glow I have the Colourpop um Tinted Moisturizer and then I have the Elf Camo Powder Foundation and then I have this one this one's actually not I don't really like this one, so I don't use it a lot. Um, it kind of dries on my skin, and I have dry skin as it is. So, I don't use that one at all anymore. Um, but, yeah, then I have the Infallible 24-Hour by L'Oreal. And then I have this one by oh, Uma. I think I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> Then I have Colourpop foundation and then the other Colourpop foundation, the Hydraulic foundation. Um, I haven't tried this one out yet, but I will get, I will get to it. Hopefully, I like it. Um, and then I have the Elf Camo CC cream. This one's actually really good. I like this one. Um, but yeah, and then I have the Juvia's foundation. There's more back there. The I have the Milani back here, and then and the other. I think it's Maybelline. Yeah, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation that doesn't match my skin. I have to get rid of some of the foundation in here just because I don't use it and they don't match my skin at all. But I will do a de makeup declutter maybe soon. Not right now, but soon. Um, but yeah. And then in this one, I have my powders and my pressed powders, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I just have the old ColourPop one that I probably need to throw away. And then I have the new Pretty Fresh one in medium ten. Then I have this one, this loose setting powder by... I'm going to say that wrong. Pink Lip. Pink lip? I. I'm. Um. And then I have the Juvia's loose powder in white sand. And then I have the Maybelline Master Fix in translucent. I think it is in translucent. I think it's in translucent. Yeah. And then I have the. I think 
cannot get it out. Yeah, the, the ColourPop one, the new one. Um, in translucent as well, the no filter setting powder. And then we have the NARS one. The translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder too. I actually like this one. It's actually really nice. It blurs my pores really good. And then I have obviously my air sponge that I hardly use now. Okay, so in this little bin, container, whatever, um, I have my Juvia's uh, bronzer in shade medium. Um, but yeah, and then I have uh, my highlighters in here as well. This is the only bronzer I have in here. Oh no, I have my Wet n Wild one back there in Dulce de Leche. And I do need to get a new one of those just because <laughs> it is a little older. And I kind of hit pan on it because I used it so much. But I probably need to get a new one. Like, I mean, it, it kind of looks okay. But you can kind of see, like, it's kind of going a little bit. Like, it looks a little weird. Like, the powder looks weird. So I do need to get rid of that one. Um, but yeah, and then I have the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek highlighter in the shade notch and this is how this one looks like i actually picked this up because i thought it was so pretty on it and it turns out i got the wrong um i got the wrong highlighter it was the one next to it i guess i didn't read it well enough when i grabbed it so <laughs> it's kind of dark um but it's actually really pretty um if i can Like, that looks pretty dark. So I'm actually going to get this one to my sister just because she has a more darker complexion than me. Um, but yeah. And then I have my Becca highlighters in here. Let's see if I can get the other one. So I have the two mini ones and then I have the big one. But yeah, this is in the shade Moonstone, and then I have Champagne Pop, and then I have Vanilla Quartz. And then I have my Fenty Highlighter in Hustle, baby. And I also have a Morphe one in Lit. And that's how that one looks like. And then my favorite one, I have the Jacqueline highlighter in Iced. This is how this one looks like. But yeah, as you can tell, I use it a lot. Um, yeah, and then on this one, I have my concealer. Um, I have the Super Stay that I haven't tried yet. Then this Juvia's one that I also haven't tried yet. And then I have this one that I don't think matches me at all. It's the color pop. And then I have this Elf one that I think I've tried. No, I haven't tried it yet. I have tried this one though, this color pop one. Oh, the Flawless Frightening Concealer. It was okay. Um, and then I have Maybelline, which I always use. And then this one I just use for like, because it's like light tint, so I don't use it as a concealer. I use it as a primer for my eyes sometimes. And then in the back, I have all my eye primers. I have the Juvia's eye primer in shades one and two. And then the ColourPop Party Proof eye primer. And then the Urban Decay. I have my glitter primer. This doesn't work. I don't like this. Throw that away. And then the Radiance primer uh, by Smashbox that I think doesn't work anymore as well. That I have to throw away. So, yeah. Then in this one, I have my face primers. I have the Elf C 
Fancy Bright Putty Primer, the regular Putty Primer, then the Cookies and Cream Putty Primer, and then I have the Wet n Wild Matte Face Primer, which I don't use because my skin, like I said, is dry as it is, so I don't use a matte primer at all. Then my red, or my green actually, my green conceal color corrector. And then I have the Pore Professionals like sample thing that was in Nipsey. And then this one as well that came in in Nipsey. I don't use these at all. Um, this used to be a favorite. I still use it here and there. It's just randomly. Um, 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 um. I have more face primers in here. Like the MAC one. I don't even know if it works. An oil primer that I don't know if it works. A Maybelline. Uh, this actually doesn't even work um, for me. I can still see like the redness in my face sometimes. So I don't use this either. Um, I have the Powder Puff Girls Revolution Mattifying Primer that is still closed. Like with the wrapper and stuff. Um, I have this one, the Hard Candy Sensitive Skin Primer that I still use. And then I have the Power Grip Primer by Elf. I use that one. I actually like that one. And I also like the Dewy Primer by Elf as well, the jelly one. And then the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer, which I also like. And then I have this blue one by Maybelline that I never used. So yeah, these are all my face primers. Then next to it, I have my face, my beauty blender that I use a lot. And then I have two eyeliners. I don't use this one, it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. This one's really good. Uh, my eyebrows, my Anastasia, and Maybelline. And this is just like a... What is this? This is a brow powder that I don't use at all either. And then I have my brow and then this one I just got in an Ipsy. It's the Benefit Brow Styler. It's actually really good. Um, then I have the ColourPop one. I um, Brow Pencil. And then I have a black eyeliner. But yeah, that's all I have in this one. And then next to it, I have... tools my eyelash curlers this thing that doesn't work it's supposed to keep the mascara um, from falling I mean from getting on your face um, my eyebrow scissors um, a hydrating moisturizer that actually works really good by elf and then this lip smacker that I got from Ulta, and then eyelash glue, more lip balm. I still haven't used this. I just got it. It's an acne fighting spot gel. Um, and then I have some tweezers in here, and more lip balm, and then my eyelash tweezers. And then next day I just have my scars. I have the Essence Mascaras and then I have the Anastasia one then I have the Maybelline Sky High one I actually don't like this one it doesn't work for me um, and then the other Essence Mascara in this drawer 
Okay, so on top of my Alex drawer, I have two of my Juvia's plays and then three of the Morphe palettes up here. And then, well, it's my newest Morphe palettes. And then back here, I have the collab they did with. Mm, I'm not even gonna say her name. I'm just gonna say it wrong, but her. Um. And then I have the two nine palette, nine pan palette by Morphe. And then I have some face brushes back right here. I mean, not bad, not face. Eye brushes and then face brushes right here. And then more eye brushes. And yeah, so in this first drawer, I actually have all my highlighters and contour palettes. Um, on this side, I have all my single. Uh, my single highlights all uh, back here. Oh my goodness. So I have all my single palettes all back on this side right here. I have more in the back, but I hardly use those, but I'll go into that in a minute. Um, but I have uh, my Wet n Wild Precious Petals, my Fenty Beauty, uh, Mimosa Sunrise, and Sangria Sunkiss. And then I have the two Glam Light palettes and Mimosa and Pina Colada. And then I have the uh, Rudolph collection or Rudolph highlighter. And then I have the Soul highlighters in shade uh, Bronze Hour. They're actually sh uh, body powders, but I use them as highlighters. I um, have this one in Wildflower Honey. And then this one is in Starlight. And then on this side, I have my Profusion Mean Girls Trio um, palette, or face palette, I should say. And then I have the Glam Light S'mores one, the Wet n Wild um, uh, Little Twin Stars one, I also have this one as well. And then I have the X Revolution um, highlighter and it's a yeah it's just a highlighter palette okay so then i have my wet and wilds stitch contour palette and then i have my anastasia one and then a wet and wild one and uh some weird brand palette down there and then I have my frosted flakes uh, highlighter and then more in the back I have blushes these are all blushes and more loose highlighters yeah more loose highlighters back there and then we have um, a body shimmer right here and then a bronzer by Morphe and then more highlight highlighting so in the next drawer I have body glitters from Colourpop and then I have the X Revolution Powderpuff Girls uh, liner liner it's like water activate you have to activate it with water and then in this one in this little bin i have um what are these called they're oh they're like eyeshadow sticks um but yeah i have a lot of like shimmery eyeshadow sticks and stuff um, i have some elf ones oh they're liquid eyeshadows oh my so these are some <laughs> all the liquid eyeshadows I have. Then right here I have loose um, loose glitter. Um, most of these are from ColourPop, and then this one's by NYX, and then this one's Anastasia. And then here I just have my eyeliners, eyeliner pencils in different colors. I have ColourPop. I have Revolution. I have. Oh no! Don't do it then. 
and then I have Wet n Wild in here. Um, so I think that's about it. Oh, I have a Beauty Creations in here too. And then over here, I have my No Budge Eyeshadow Sticks um, by Elf. And Eyeshadow Sticks by Colourpop as well. And yeah, so those are the ones that I have. Just Elf and Colourpop are in here. Oh, and one went in the wild. And then back here, I have my loose eyeshadows. By Col These are Colourpop. These, um, this one is MAC. And then Naked Cosmetics right here. And then some other brand right there. And then Too Faced. And then other brands that I get from Ipsy. So yeah, that's in this drawer. The next drawer I have is my gel eyeliners. Um, I have Colourpop Elf. Beauty Creations, AOA. Yeah, that's in this one. And um, I actually have to throw some of these out just because I know some of them are dried out. Um, but in this one, I have um, my the rest of the mascaras. I have Maybelline, Morph, Wet n Wild, um, Lorac, and then Item Beauty. And then I have, what is this one? This is some weird brand. I don't know, I've never heard of it. Yeah. And then I have my false lashes right here. I have the bigger ones more down there. And then this single one right here. And then I have these uh, base, color base primers from Beauty Creations. So yeah, that's that one. And then in this one, I have these are all my lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners and. I kind of try to color coordinate them. I guess you can say like my lip glosses, lipsticks, lip stains, um, anything. But that didn't work out so well. I just started mixing it up again. And the good oils in here, and the blackers, and in this one, it's all like clear um, lip glosses. I have a lip plumper, um, lip gloss. What are, what are these? I think these are these are roller glosses, and then more lip uh, lip glosses. Color pop. Um, this one, this one, this brand. I don't even know how to say that. Um, the I have the Ciate London one. And then I have Elf in here. Um, Color pop as well. Uh, Revolution. Hip hop. And then back. here here and take this out. back here I have more these are lipsticks and these are lip glosses as well but these are like colored lip glosses I guess you can say so yeah so that's what I have in that one and then in this one there are all my lip pencils I have the frosted flakes and then color pop and then Elf, and then some other brands. And then of course, then it starts the palette drawers. All of these ones. And then this one too, and then the last one. And then the last one is just the drunk drawer. 